Alright. Greetings to those who actually give a shit to watch my stuff. I told my friend I wasn't going to play through the entirety of this game without recording it. Now, I this is the free game of the month. Of the month. I did not really want to buy this because I kind of figured I was going to get it eventually. But I am actually looking forward to playing this because of these right here. Story mode, yeah, it's the easiest, but it, it offers the, less, the least experience. Normal mode basically allows the regular experience. Hard mode is what I went with. Your power as a vampire is tied to the citizens you choose to embrace. Enemies are harder to kill and hit harder. And experience points are rewarded by killing enemies are in combat are very reduced. So I went with that one because it does force you to think, who should I kill for my own personal benefit, if any? And that one dude, Clay Cox, at the start, I did kill him straight up. I even looked up, is there any reason to save him? And the only real reason to save him is mostly because he's got, like, you get, you could get a thousand points of experience out of him instead of, like, half of that. So, that's really it. So, it might just be worth farming him for the more experience. That's probably what I'm going to do on this one. Just keep him alive more so I can get more health out of him or something. I help and experience out of him. I'm going to go with the same fighting style I had intended. A lot of melee and very, very lethal biting. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of... Can I please Stone. skip this? Eight voracious beasts born no. from eight <sighs> restless God damn it. nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence confronted by the eerie and unknown mortals became desperate for answers a flock's flight makes for an omen the falling of a star a dire presage turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found when religion failed men turned to science I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is gets philosophical as shit. Sun? What is war but in slave stone? stone? What is what glass, is glass but, but tortured, tortured sand? sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate, hate but, but jilted, jilted love? love? What is Jil life, life but death? death. I'll admit, you get really philosophical with that, but that, I will admit, A-plus on the voice acting on that one, dude. Straight up, A-plus on that. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna skip this. Sorry, I just wanna actually get into the game. I'm actually really liking this game. This is pretty fucked up. It is a pretty twisted way how you start this. What happens if she just sees me? Oh, I can't. This has got to be a forced death. Yeah, that's forced. Damn. All right, sorry, I'm skipping this. I just want to get into the game. I'm sorry. If you want to watch the cutscenes, whatever. Get your weapons ready. We no, no, don't shoot. This is a nightmare. I only got to Pembroke Hospital, to and that's it. Here. This can't be happening. Essentially, the, for those that want to know, he basically just like ate his sister and killed her. No, please stop! I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary, what have I done? What's all this about? Now I can defend myself. Kill that thing! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. I love that hypocrite's oath for the doctor. Sorry. 
I will admit, the instant I learned that I could start biting these motherfuckers in mid-combat, that became my main focus. Just trying to skip the cutscenes and everything. The sun feels like it's burning me to the bone. It's well, this is mostly a tutorial kind of thing, so I mean, I really anybody who gets hide. this game will experience it. You are loading, but why? Let me go! Ow! Fucking ass! Son of a I need bitch! To find shelter. Close that. It's just different flashbacks and everything like that. I am not worried about it. When we get to the point where I stopped, then I'll stop skipping stuff because then I'll actually be curious on what the hell is going on. Fire and sun. Yep. Yeah, whatever. I also got the DLC weapons and I am going to be using them as soon as I know how the fuck to get them. Now, keep in mind of this, this, this person right here. Keep in mind. She's there. Okay. She's there. Dead body. Right there. Alright. Looks rather freaky. But, he, he doesn't touch her. Nothing happens. He doesn't do anything. Wait till I come back downstairs after these next cutscenes. I'm skipping most of them just because I really want to get into the game. This is a very fun game. I actually do like this. This is a good game. Skip this. Use the revolver. Da, 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 just double checking. Just take this. Yep, whatever. Alright, and I like this cutscene. I actually like this cutscene. This is. I feel this actually kind of would be what I'd do to test to see if I was a vampire. No sense at all. Funny thing is, this motherfucker's got the same first name as me, Jonathan. Only difference is, is his name is spelled with an O, with an A N, mine's spelled with an O N. That's really it. But I would do this. If I was actually in this dude's position and I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm a vampire, I'm gonna do this to test to see if I am a vampire. What the fuck's a better way to test it? So be it. I do like this. This is actually a really cool cutscene. Rational thinking. Now, I'd like to point out, the bullet hole is not at all where the meat of his body is. It's where the shirt is. So, a little inconsistency there, but that's just me nitpicking. I am going to nitpick that a little bit. Bullet hole accuracy for shit like that, I find that a rather very high point detail. If you actually go into detail for that, then it's great. See, look at his torso. Look at his torso. He put that bitch more up towards the neck or the collarbone. But that bitch, like, he, unless he really jerked it, that's, like, right in the ribs. That's, like, maybe a lung or something. Like, it's something. But, yeah, see? See where the hole is? That's not where the fuck he had the gun held. He did not put the gun there. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. No, you're fine. All right, all right, whatever, whatever. Shut the fuck up. We got it. Yes, yes, we got it. I am a vampire. We will do a bit of that. I love the claws. I love this. I love this shit. You'll see why. By far one of my most favorite abilities in this whole fucking game. I'm a melee dude. I, I am a melee guy. I, fuck, I struggle to find any way how to make a mage class in World of Warcraft. I'm a melee dude. That voice in my head. But now, I'll admit, what I'm honestly thinking here, 
I'm gonna just try to get some silence here. What I was honestly thinking on the skill say on the uh, skill screen you saw there is claws, for one, uh, the bite upgrades flat out, health regeneration and damage, as well as um, the blood upgrades, more blood per bite and blood storage, because I am gonna use the claws like a lot. But I'm also gonna try to get that shadow ability. It raised my stamina up quite a bit too. Because if I have it where my melee is astronomically painful, and then I can just poof, vanish, and do it again, like have it where I'm almost one-shotting dudes by biting them, th that right there, how, what other fucking thing can you want me to be for a vampire? Vanish, bite, dead, vanish, bite, dead, vanish, bite, dead. Like, like the, if, if it's a real vampire dude, it could, it could slaughter fucking hundreds of dudes, and you don't even, you never see them. It must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Personally, I am... Yeah, now, see? Where's that body? Where's that old bitch that was there? But no, the thing is that I like, though, is that I just... I wanted to go with my dude just being a fucking beast. It's like, if you want me to be a vampire, oh, you're gonna see me be a fucking vampire. I need to leave now. Skip this. Oi! Come on, you coward! It's locked. locked. Oh yeah! Now we got my stabby! Now we're gonna start eating people. Yeah. I love that. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Die, vermin! There's one of them vermin! Yes, that's the reason why I love doing it. Motherfucker, I'm gonna eat ya! Give me that flesh! Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna eat every motherfucker I come against. Oh yeah, no, it's just, the limits of I'm just—I'm a fucking animal, dude. I've got to eat everybody. What are you doing, huh? Running at me like you, somebody? You come here, motherfucker! I'm gonna eat you now. Give me that fucking flesh. Oh wow. You're still alive after that? My strength. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Oh hell no. In in my hands, you're a fucking beast. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's what I love the most about playing this. The combat alone and the fact that you can literally just focus on just I'm gonna eat you. That's uh there's I, I'm a twisted man, but the fact that you can literally just be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking devour you is fucking amazing to me. That's that's true vampirism if my you literally will just sister. eat these people. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. Oh. For what happened to us. Now, I know you can eat the, the rats, but I'm kind of like, nah, I don't want to. That's like the Nosferatu bullshit, and I just don't want to do that. I can... 
I'm in the category where I want to fight more people. I want to eat more souls. I want to fucking feed. I'll control it. Oh, you could best you could bet your ass you're gonna get used to seeing me eating eating people left and right in combat, dude. The instant I find out you want to pick a fight, oh, come here, I'm gonna bite you. What will London have to say to me? I think it's best if you just like act like you are a regular human being. It's locked. Because if you're if you go I've around so saying, oh, I'm a fucker vampire, it's gonna end badly. Of course, there's some that'll already know he's a vampire, but it's whatever. I might actually keep Clay Cox alive so I could get a thousand experience out of his ass instead of five hundred. Another fresh blood. The smell is so strong. There's I will no admit. Insight. I will admit. I do like this tracking capability. This is fucking awesome. This shit alone is great. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. All right. Now, first things first, I always do this, but I'm going to try to give you a better step-by-step -step on what I want to do here. All right, first off, these two I want leveled up. These two I want leveled up. And this one I want leveled up. That endurance, that energy, I want that. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this being the worst, this being the worst, this doing a lot of damage. If I go with any ultimate, it's going to be Blood Cauldron, but then going with Shadow Veil. So that way I could just vanish. Blindside another dude, feed on him. Vanish, blindside another dude, feed on him just rinse and repeat because if this gets maxed out, I mean look look at that fucking damage bonus a thousand four hundred percent you can't tell me that's not gonna start lopping off dudes health bars by fucking half at bare minimum that's what I want I want it to be a true vampire plus heal whenever you bite more blood whenever you bite like just all around more lethality so speaking of lethality we're gonna make that bite hurt. Yes, I, I'm not gonna lie. That's my strategy. Stab with a stake, stab with a stake, yum, 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 claw. Y'all saw how much damage that shit was doing, man. I blindsided that motherfucker for almost all his health. Just straight up, just biting, just blah, 154 at base. That's some damage. What's this? Torn off page of a diary. For looking away when they mock my color, I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me, I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone, I hate myself. For hating my parents, I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Brina, I hate myself. For never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel, I hate myself. Huh? Who the fuck is that? Sabrina Cavendish. Really? Interesting. So that's the bar girl. Oh, how intriguing. Oh, somebody's got a bit of a crush. What the fuck? That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. At last, a little life. Good evening. Wow. Yes. Been there. Has this? I'm just gonna skip through this dialogue until I get to where I stopped. I'll leave. All right. No. Oh, great. Why? You must tell me. Do the path. Where are you? So, yeah. I'm looking. It's been quiet. You mean? Well, yeah. How? Who? 
I need just yes. No. F there we go. Now we talk to this woman because this is yep Sabrina Cavendish. Hello, sir. I don't know. Maybe. What is this? Is Tom? Are you? No. It... You don't. What? what? Too many. The body. The sewer. No one. What is this? Is nothing. I just. I'm not. I own. Oh. I'll leave then. All right. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No. This is no place for you. All right. Close that out. And who might you be? Tell me. First, that's none. Sir, you something. The call it. I'm a victim. I've been too. hunted down in the streets and attacked. I, I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, Doctor Edgar Swansea of the. I will admit. Now, I will admit. We did miss one of the coolest cutscenes of the game. That's another reason why I skipped that cutscene. What it is, this dude, he's part of the organization that leads the vampire hunters. He's part of the religious group. That cross right there, he held that shit up, and it just, boom, glowed a bright gold. And it just, like, our main character here was just, oh, my fucking god. Oh, I just wanted to talk. But you can understand where the dude is no is nervous because he doesn't know if he's a new vampire or an old one posing as a new one. I can understand his apprehensiveness. He's been studying vampires and even works with a couple of vampires, so he knows exactly how dangerous they can be. I heard another ridiculous something told. Then the feeling is, what if it's how to a vampire? And what again when we start getting details that I don't I that I have not before. already dug it for. Uh, sure. The shadow, indeed. You should let me handle. No. How will you? I'll demand answers. Mm. There we go. But essentially, I like the dude. He's mostly f he's, he knows what he's doing when it comes to dealing with fucking vampires. He's if not an Swansea idiot. is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Didn't deserve this. Someone must know something. Let's see if we can talk to Sabrina here. Means, I have a. few... I spoke to Doctor. Truth. I suspect that I'm just the I can. F Why are you? I mean, is what happened? He was. Tell me about. Will was a psych. Why keep Tom's not? I see. Please leave me alone. Fine, whatever. Hello, Niels. Well, I can't. Hey, I talk. Tom, talk. Yes, Will. Who is William? Is he there? Yeah. How? What I did? I'm you could please. Well, thank you. If you s gotta talk to you again, girl. Or no? You best talk to Tom. Whatever. Fine. Fuck you too. Did he go around the back? Ah, yep, I see where I gotta go. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The bot. This. This man. What's this? Blood. There are. There we go. Over there. Yeah, I forgot we got more combat, but this is the good thing here. This is the part of that light. Oh, he died? Oh, that sucks. I wanted to bite him again. Ammunition crate. Good. 
I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. It's locked, all right. Oh, hold up. Sneak up on you? Yes, I can! Oh, damn! You did not have a fair shot. Like, I, oof. Oof, I just fucking slaughtered you. You were butchered. Hey, you're a higher level than me, man. How the fuck does that work? I guess the element of surprise could do a lot to whoops my ass. It's locked. Physical, ranged, blooded shadow. So blooded shadow, very weak against. Decently resisted against melee and ranged. There's another dude. I know. I know there is. It was too about to say. There's two motherfuckers here. You are not that resistant to melee. So. See if we can take your big ass out. Ah, give me that food! Him and just blah, he went flying. Damn. Now this, yeah, no, we go, no, no, dog. Stay, stick with me. I'm gonna help you grow to be a fucking lord. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. You gave me power. Gonna lie, dude. I love doing that. I love it. It's so simple, but it just does so much. There's nothing fancy about it, but it does. It's just so fucking devastating. Oh, you fucked up by turning around. You fucked up by turning around. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm gonna be worse than this dude than I worse as this dude than I ever was in fucking Elder Scrolls Online. Cause yes, I became a vampire on that shit too. Whew, you can bet I ate a lot of motherfuckers on that game. Easiest way to get a lot of money. Compared is that the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches that they can't go out during the day, thus we can hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever. They have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted or they're dead. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider the most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much meta and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they, are really, when they really are vulnerable when they hunt at night. It is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the guards 
guard of Freewood must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches. I did not read this one, so that's why I'm reading it out. Small and mobile, mobile patrols, tactics based on technological advantages, modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategy, new, new equipment, and new weaponry. Grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrower. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. From a new war by Joffrey McCollum, Prewin leader. I have another hideout here. Let's see. I have enough to get another level. That's the, uh, like, ammunition box. I still gotta figure out how to get my DLC. Uh, can we level this up again? Yes, I can. Okay, do I want to level anything up? But you know what? I'm not really worried about that. I am actually really worried about getting some health. So, as long as I can keep biting, I can keep healing. I'll admit, that's probably what I should go with, is healing. Then we'll probably go with getting more blood per bite. Then we'll probably go with upgrading the damage again. Yes, the guys respawn, which is why I did this. Because I just love fighting these dudes. I actually love killing them. How do you... Alright, whatever. You're fucked. Wow, dude. I feel bad for you. You got, like, overkilled. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I like to do that a lot. It's my favorite thing to do in this game's combat is Fresh just blood. fucking eat them. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. I'm not even gonna worry about two-handed weapons. It ruins the offhand. This place reeks of bloodshed. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down.
love doing that. That's by far one of my favorite things to do is just that fucking... That just, that, that just stun and bite, stun and bite shit. I love that. You saw how effective it was. William was an honorable man. Alright, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this, sorry. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Yep, now we're just gonna sit here and have a communication scene with these two. I will return. Y'all can just go ahead and enjoy this cutscene right here. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stoll, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I told you I'd be back. three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. But now, as, um, the role of science is I will say, but the way how I see vampirism, the yes, it can be considered a curse, but it can also be considered a blessing. This so much for you to learn. As soon as they're done talking, they'll give you a better description of what I mean. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... There we go. ...affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> now, the way how I see this, this is the rise of a fucking god. The birth of the beast. I mean, yeah, I am going to try my best to keep people alive and help those who I feel do need it, but there are going to be some people I have got to straight up off. The game itself even does say that it is harder if you don't kill people. I 
love the music in this game, though, man. The music in this game Dr. is phenomenal. Doctor Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Yes, I play games with subtitles. Y'all are gonna have to get over that. Oh, Doctor, it's for those night. that can't we hear that well, like I can't. Nurse Scow said you I can't hear that well. That's why resigned. I do that. That's that's yes, what I meant. I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor. Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He's served like that snazzy new we'll jacket, man. That's a trench coat. We're very lucky I to like have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh yes. I might keep Clay Cox alive just so that I could get double the experience out of him. Because from what I gather, Here he never Pembroke, raises on the mesmerized have. category, <laughs> so. But what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. All right. Show me in the upper right how much experience I have. No. All right. Well, this is. Yes, it does. Okay. About five. About four hundred. That'll put me to about a thousand if I kill him now. Oh, fuck. Do I want to do this now, or do I want to get his stuff? Yeah, you know what? I'll see if I can raise his experience level first. Nah, it's my turn. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Sir, you think I've a mind to let you bleed out. All right, all right. Sorry, I am in pain. Yes, that's a very follow me, Mr. Cox. I'm probably gonna let him go so that way I could just like. Dance with him the dance of life and death. I'm gonna let him go. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yep, okay, that's what I figured. Two different trophies, but both live for different outcomes. I am gonna kill him. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Oh no, trust me. It's gonna it's gonna get ugly. I am gonna fucking eat him. I need to tell somebody that he's there though, so that way he can live and I can help him. Doctor, I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the Already making the rounds. That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton. Thank you, nurse. Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor. Thank you. Yes, Dorothy. I would like to... What... Well, you ex... A... Doctor... It's... You'll get... And... I get... If you... Sec... Thank you, nurse Crane. But yes, essentially, we're gonna just go through, talk to everybody in this one, like I did. Uh, Clay's gonna be sur gonna survive, and I want to do his side quests and shit to make his blood quality increase. Then I'm gonna eat him. Good evening. So it is Duane, actually, Doctor. He was all. What is? I don't. What is hot? It's not. Don't be. What summer? Tell nurse you really. I'll go. I don't, I don't get. Yep. Goodbye. All right. Now 
We just gotta go make our rounds, talk to everybody we can. Good evening. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. That's quite a... You can call me... I'm not... Well, I'm not... You have... No need... I even want... But you keep... You want... I don't think I'll kill Milton. I think I'll let Milton live. It's... It's... Yes, you go there. He seems like he's just only gruff because he's just had a really, really tough time at Goodbye. things. So I just... I don't want to kill him. I don't want to embrace him. It just doesn't seem like it's right to me. Dr. This bitch Swan right here, right. I might. This place seems perfect. Good evening. Your name. I beg. What are you begging? You keep well. Um, I don't. Please. I, I never. It's a delusion. I'm a secret. It's a. Who are. This. I'm not. I. Thank. Who are. Is I'm. Mary. Ali. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. And I'm well. How it's Nurse Hawkins. I wish I you How not Milt. What? I'm doing this mostly because I know How for a fact that I don't like your Let's see da -da. anymore. No. Goodbye. See, now the reason why I did find the reason why you need to do this is because it raises the quality of the blood for each individual you talk to. So, for those that you want to kill or you might not want to kill, you'll end up doing some research, studying about them, get some dirt digging. Then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I might actually want to kill this motherfucker. How long must I wait, Danny? Good evening. He does my. Let us. Uh, if you don't, I know. <laughs> Aren't you too old for such? Don't be ridiculous, Doctor Reed. Since you're Let's just careless, we're here. I don't mother. Do this. I don't. I don't. And what? I see. Be careful. I only. I don't see any reason why. That's true, Doctor Reed. It seems you have. I refuse. We cannot. Thank you. Go talk to him. Have I already talked? Yes, I have. You're Dorothy Craig. Good evening. Do I am. What? It's with I. But so you talk. Please. I'm uh, la, la, la. What? Blah blah. Da, 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 da. Flattery. You will issues. obtain nothing from. Oh, I was not flattering you. I bait. I'd rather. As long you're not the. Alright, at the Pembroke what Hospital, it? do that. You seem unconvinced. Question's true. Do you need. Well, do you want me. Oh no, I see. Do you need my medical. You don't have to worry about me. What can you tell. Well, it is. Alright, at do this, do this. Tell me, Marby, what is the fa. This. I do you think. All I Tell me, Mr. Our first diagnosis was cut. Why would he? Because he is a proud. All right, yeah, that's who I needed to talk to. Fiddick is the guy right there. Goodbye. All right, um, let's get these two out of the way. I. I what do you. I. Is this? What? No. Are you. Yeah. Me? I'm. Tell me. Yeah. What? She meant. She yeah. I, I did. Do you require me? I have other con. Goodbye, Mrs. Gott. Good no. Really? I don't. I suppose. Yes. Could you at no. Do you need any? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't have I will see. Damn. All right. How sick? So I'll let. I'm okay. Pembroke is your pet. How sick? He's got a mad amount of fatigue. Not, I see. Yes. Tell him. I don't. I have. Don't wake 
waste your time with me. All right, we got a lot of that going. Um, you always need the word to calm the children. As for me, thank you. Okay, now she's fine. She's not the one I need to talk to. Good evening. I don't. I see. I'm up. This dude. God, I feel bad about are you. Him. Well, I feel are bad Tell me, I was up. Tell what up? Is there any ammo? Is there anything else? I'm all right. Nothing there. Personal questions. Tell me. Too much your injury. How I was working? Died because of you. You have to do. Tell me what. How are you? I was small. I'm powered. Goodbye. I will not let you down, my boy. I will save your bullshit for later. There's another nurse I'm missing here. Swansea's there. There's another nurse. Where the fuck is she? Is that her? Aren't you? Are you the one that put charged you? Good evening. No. Good evening. Uh, no personal questions. No. Are you the one? No, you're not. Do you need? I'm fine. Goodbye. Interesting. So it's Nurse Branigan, huh? Good evening. Unless I'm do you, soldier. I'm fine. How is? Oh, can I? It's the. Can no. No, you don't have faith. Where are, no, if you were. How to wait? Aren't she's. How much she. And it's a. You in a. Goodbye for. There's a fucking nurse I'm missing here. Where the fuck is Nurse Branigan? There she is. Good evening. Doctor, did he rip all ice? You. How are? No. And sir, do you? We... I'm not. Rip mo it would. Is the... rip. why should he... I can? No. I'm not. Really? Most. It would. I just doctor. I think Tippett's and her Goodbye. have a thing going on. If only I were young again. Just a dozen. Good evening. Doctor Reed. You're exhausting your No. Nurse Branagan, <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Goodbye. Who the fuck was the one? Who was the one that charged her? Let's see, it was Mortimer Goswick. Yeah, he's okay. Good evening. Tell me that. Um, Do you plan to? Of course not. How could I? Infl Would you say? No. No, Thomas is a delicate son. I'll leave. I wish I could be sick again. Feel my blood boil with the fever. Good evening. Goodbye. Who the fuck was it? Was it Crane? Was it Nurse Crane? Where the fuck is she though? Whatever, right, let's go talk to Milton. Let's again. 
Good evening. Good evening. I'm up oh, here. Yeah. Goodbye, Mill. Hold up, we actually got something interesting going on here. Fuck it, yeah, I just missed my opportunity. I just had an opportunity to observe him. Fuck! That was needed to be seen. He is going somewhere. What is he doing? Oh, hold up, hold up. I gotta go outside or something, hold up. Is this it? Is this where I gotta go? Where the fuck is he? Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. That's what I was looking for. What the fuck is he doing? Oh shit! Oh shit, he's a junkie! Oh! Damn it! Why is this so difficult every time? Well, it would help if you pulled your fucking sleeve up. He's a junkie! That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. Oh, intriguing! You're a junkie! Oh shit, where the hell did you come from? Oh, you dirty little fucker. to know I'm going to have to be a little bit more stealthy about beating their ass. Didn't realize them fuckers could dodge like that. Don't insult me with that. Now I want to go beat that thing's ass. It doesn't help that it caught me off guard. That and I didn't use my fucking healing ability. I didn't use that at all. That is something I need to pay attention to. I have a healing skill. You start the game with a healing skill. So, I mean, I will admit that was a fuck up on my part if the loading screen will ever be done. Not to say, please don't tell me my game just froze. <laughs> that would be my luck. The one time I fucking die, the game's like, well, crash, you're done. Alright. Now, I've, now I'm going back just so I can kill that fucking... 
gall. Little motherfucker wants to roll up on me like that. No, you don't. Uh -uh. Now I just want to go whoop your little bitch ass. Where the fuck you at, you little level six whore? 